So Microsoft this generation has done a lot of good things overall for consumers in the console space. When you look at things like Play Anywhere, following in the steps of PC and working to bring backwards compatibility, issuing digital refunds, cross-play, looking for groups, etc. Xbox, I believe, has bounced back from what was a not-so-great-for-consumers launch this generation. And I think they've made real progress when it comes to features on the console. And I applaud them for these changes. But it still doesn't mean that there isn't work to do. There's always work to do. A few months ago, Phil Spencer said this on Crossplay, quote, If you bought your child an Xbox and I bought my child a PS4 and I'm just a parent, it's their birthday and the kids want to go play Fortnite and they all of a sudden go home and can't play with each other, it doesn't feel like it helps the consumers. And, of course, Phil is calling out Sony big time for lack of, of crossplay. And I agree with Phil. And I've pointed out this numerous times on both Twitter and on this channel that I believe it's hypocritical of Sony to claim that they love to give developers creative freedom while at the same time handcuffing them and refusing to allow devs to implement crossplay with all the consoles. And I think Sony, for both the gamers and the devs, should allow crossplay because it helps games stay active who have lower population numbers, which benefits everybody. I mean, gamers, they don't want to sit around waiting on more people to join up in a lobby before they can play a game. And so so they're not going to sit around. They're going to move on to a different game, which ends up hurting the devs. And then it also ends up hurting the gamers who enjoy that game and, and just want to play it. And, and so I think it's a huge benefit to everybody to allow crossplay. But I think we're looking at a sort of he who is without sin, let him cast the first stone type story. Because let's say this, Phil. Say you bought your child an Xbox and I bought my child a Nintendo and I'm just a parent. It's their birthday and their kids, they want to go play Fortnite and they all of a sudden go home and can't play with each other because one parent didn't realize that regardless of it being a free to play game, they have to pay an extra fee to Microsoft to access their Internet. And that doesn't feel like it helps the consumers. Xbox is now officially the only platform in the world that requires an extra payment to play the free-to-play Fortnite Battle Royale. Nintendo Switch Online has confirmed that they're not going to charge for it. PlayStation doesn't charge for it. iOS, Android, and of course PC, they don't pay for any multiplayer. So only on Xbox are you required to pay for Xbox Live Gold to play Fortnite and other free-to-play games? Now, you can argue that it's not much money, but that's a pretty bad argument. You can argue that who has an Xbox and doesn't already have Xbox Live Gold? That also is a really terrible argument, and I personally know many people who have consoles who don't pay for the subscription services. The question you should be asking yourself and arguing is why is Xbox the only platform charging for free-to-play games? What are they offering that the other platforms don't? I can tell you, nothing. They're not giving you anything extra that the other platforms aren't. You know, I hate to beat a dead horse because I've mentioned this many times in the past, but there's always somebody out there who maybe hasn't watched those videos. I'll just say real quick, paying to play for multiplayer is bad for consumers, period. It's bad when PlayStation does it. It's bad when Microsoft does it. It's bad when Nintendo does it. Uh, you're paying an additional fee to access the full game that you've already paid for. I also think that uh, I would just love to hear one journalist ask Xbox, how can you ask the consumers who went out and bought your dedicated gaming machine why they have to pay for multiplayer access when you give all the same features to PC players for absolutely free? I would just like one journalist just to ask them that on the record. Uh, but that seems like a kind of hard task. But as you know, I think paying for multiplayer is bad enough. But how can anybody defend paying extra to play free-to-play games? There's only one platform that does it, and it's Xbox. I don't think you can defend it, 
and I would like to see Phil Spencer fix this issue. That is it for me, The Red Dragon. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.